Hey what's up guys, KSK here, welcome back to the brand new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clone, backup and restore any disk easily with RescueZilla. RescueZilla is a front-end GUI to CloneZilla that allows cloning and disk imaging. RescueZilla makes a backup of your computer's drive which is managed as files stored on an external drive. If your drive fails, you can restore your disk image within a few minutes. All your documents and settings will be restored to the same state when the last snapshot was taken. Let me explain my scenario and show you guys how RescueZilla works in action. Now, as you can see, this is my PC running Manjaro and thinking to switch to Ubuntu. So before switching to Ubuntu, I want to make a disk image of the current state of Manjaro Linux. This way, I can restore Manjaro to any drive whenever I want to come back. This eliminates the reinstallation and reconfiguration. RescueZilla clones every sector of the drive and creates a backup image. As you all know, I make videos on Linux and this tool saves a lot of time and helps in backing up and restoring the drives. Anyway, to capture the backup image of the current operating system, open your favorite browser and head over to the official website of RescueZilla. Then look for the download button and download the RescueZilla ISO. Keep in mind, to capture the disk image of an OS, you need an external drive to store all the backups. Also, you need a pen drive of 8GB to create a bootable USB with RescueZilla. Then head over to the second link and download the Balina Etcher and install it. On Linux, it will be stored inside a downloads folder. Now go ahead and connect your pen drive to the PC. Then choose an image and import the RescueZilla ISO. Now select the drive and click on Flash to start creating a bootable USB with RescueZilla. Once it's done, restart your computer. Using the boot menu, choose your USB drive to boot into RescueZilla or CloneZilla live session. If in case the standard boot mode of RescueZilla does not work, then force restart your PC and use graphical fallback mode. Now as you can see, we are inside the live session of RescueZilla. RescueZilla uses CloneZilla and Ubuntu to provide a simple and easy to use graphical user interface that makes cloning and disk imaging much easier than ever before. Now go ahead and connect your external drive, which must be higher than the capacity of the source drive. What I meant to say is that the source drive is the place where OS and user files are located. So when we capture the OS of the source drive with the destination drive, it must have a higher storage capacity than the source to store the backups. Once your external drive is connected, open Gparted. Then from the top right, select your external drive. Then click on the partition and create a new GPT partition table.
Then right click on the unallocated free space and format the drive with the NTFS file system. Now the external drive is ready to store all the backup images of the operating system. Now from the desktop, launch the RescueZilla application. Here you will see a two main things, disk imaging and cloning. Let's quickly talk about cloning. This option lets you clone or copy one drive and directly overwrite another drive. Cloning is different from disk imaging. Imaging means copying everything from one drive into very large files stored inside a folder on an external drive. This way, multiple images can be saved on the same external drive. These images can be restored to any disk or additional disk. So disk cloning is for those who want to switch from a hard drive to SSD. If you have a hard drive that has Windows or Linux OS, you can clone everything to SSD. Right now, I'm switching back to the main page and showing you guys about the disk imaging, aka backing and restoring. Go ahead, choose backup and select the drive you want to backup. In my case, drive 4 is the one where Manjaro Linux has been installed. I want to make a disk image of this drive. Now click on next and you can see it will show all the list of partitions that are going to be backed up. Now choose the destination drive to store a backup. Now in this case, this is my external drive. I'm going to select it and click on next. Now click on browse from the top right and create a folder and organize the backups according to your fancy. Then name the backup file. RescueZilla uses ZZIP for compression. I'm going to leave everything as default and click on next. You can see the summary of the backup configuration. Then click on next to start creating a backup of the OS. Now this will take around 20 plus minutes depending on the size of the backup and the speeds of the drive. So sit back and relax, don't interrupt your computer. Alright, and that's it. As you can see, the backup has been successful. This way, you can backup Windows or Linux OS to any external drive and restore it whenever you need it. It's always recommended to backup any Linux OS using disk imaging just to be on the safer side. If something goes wrong with your PC, using this backup, you can restore your system to the normal state. That being said, let me show you quickly how restoring works. Just select restore and choose the drive where backups are present. Then click on browse and load the backup image. Then select the destination drive you want to restore and click on next to continue. And that's pretty much it. This is how you backup and restore Linux using RescueZilla. You can also backup and restore Windows using the same method. Now if in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up down there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell button to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Ryle. I'll catch you in my next one.